and welcome everyone to another PlayStation 3 exclusive Union Podcast. Let's give a grand welcome to your hosts, Man I'm Smart, TPS3 EU leader, with Sibirsky Tiger, a former officer of the Union. Welcome, TPS3U listeners and members. We're here with our third pa- podcast again. And here with me, like always, my co-host, Sibirsky Tigger. Yeah, hey guys, what's up? I hope you noticed an improvement in our soft uh, recording stuff. Yeah. Uh, now you don't have to hear me like 50 times over because I'm not using my laptop's uh, microphone. I'm using my own headset. And hopefully the sound quality is a lot better than last time. Yeah, now we don't have to hear those echoes again of your voice twice or three times. Um, this podcast is going to be pretty uh, pretty interesting. And um, for those of you like Jack10 or Omega Glenn Second or Cheesy John who want to know promotions and demotions for the union, well, guess what? You're getting it today in our last segment. But you'll have to wait for that. Today's, today we're going to have a news. We're going to have releases for April. What's new on the PSN? Hits this month for March. Yes, it's still March. We're going to have what's hot, what's not. And we're going to have Sibirsky Tigger share a view on his Just Cause 2 exper- experience. We're going to have latest topics on the union, latest news. We're also going to have promotions and demotions. And we're going to have a special, special feature in the end called bloopers or delete scenes where we're actually going to have some mistakes that we made on the podcast. And like I told uh, Sibirsky Tigger already, if this were live, we would be making so many mistakes, it wouldn't be funny. And um, I know I told everyone Shadow 571 is going to be with us, but sadly she told me uh, today that she had a cold, so she couldn't be with us today. We'll be back with uh, starting it off with news and your releases for April. I'm going to tell you all about the games coming up. Stay with us.
welcome back members and listeners to our podcast. And as I said before, this segment is going to be quite interesting for those of you who like to know what games can you get for the month of March and what games can you not get and we don't suggest getting for the month of March. And this little part of the segment I have to call What's Hot and What's Not. And starting us off is going to be Sibirsky Tigger with What's Hot for the month of March. Well, right now, the hottest game of March is God of War 3. Got 9.3 average. To me, that's pretty good. Unless you want 10.0, you're going to have to wait. Uh, right behind it are two games. Battlefield Bad Company 2 got 9.0. And so did Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition got 9.0. And right behind them, trailing Final Fantasy 13 got 8.7. So those are the four hottest games for the month of March. That's right. Uh, and a lot of uh, anticipation for God of War 3 and Final Fantasy 13 there. In our union, we had a poll on what's more popular. And Final Fantasy 13 only got most popular because people were saying God of War 3 is too bloody and kids are not going to play that. But um, let's go over to what's not so hot and what you should not buy. Now... Let's see if uh, Sibirsky Tigger agrees with me on some of these. Um, let's start off first of off with the disappointments. And the, uh, two, I think one of these is not even a game. The episodes for the Grand Theft Auto Liberty City. Everyone was expecting those this month for March. But they got delayed to April 15th. So we got to wait for those again. And you know, there's another delay that for this month was... Um, Quantum Theory, that got delayed all the way to July 1st, that's a, that's a long way away now, and uh, we were expecting it for March, and got delayed for uh, two months now, for oh, over two months, and probably the most disappointing game, now Sibirsky Tigger, I don't know if you ever heard of this game, but Prison Break, have you heard oh, of Oh my, I saw the first season of the show. Prison Break, they actually made a game out of it, and you don't, you don't even want to know the rating for this. The rating goes down to a 5.0. This game was not even rated by GameSpot. There was no rating available. The critics give it low threes, middle threes, but the users seem to give it middle sixes, averaging at about a 5.0. Very disappointing. And coming right behind that from the worst, another not that great one, but it's all right. MLB 2K10, the baseball 2K10 game, averaging at about 7.0. Not that good, but, you know, it could be better. It's an alright game, 7.0. And then coming right behind that, we have... You, coming right oh, okay. behind that, we have Just Cause 2, averaging at about an 8.3, and Sibirsky Ticker is going to share his review with us later on in this segment. Then we have Resonance of Fate, an 8.0. Yazuka 3, we mentioned in the last podcast, that's going to be a good game, but it didn't get that high of a rating as we expected, only an 8.3, and you know, uh, some users on GameSpot gave it a 7.5, critics gave it uh, a low 8, but I think some of the users um, voted really high, which made it an 8.3, and our last one right here, we have MLB 10, The Show. Now, this one is kind of confusing. The the average is an 8.4, but critics giving it low sixes, middle sixes, but the users are giving it high eights. So that average is 